Not too long ago, I made a video on how I created a bird garden right here at my home. And if you haven't seen that yet, I'm gonna leave it at the end of this video so you can check it out a little bit later on. But at the moment, it's actually superb fairy wren season here. And some have set up camp out there along with some other species. And what I did was I headed out with my Nikon D850. I use that for stills, as well as my Nikon Z7. I've used that for video B-roll. And I use the Nikon 80 to 400 millimeter lens. And after heading out, this is what I saw. On this particular day, a group of storms were approaching my location. We just had a fresh shower of rain and I managed to capture this fairy wren enjoying the last few drops on the fence. And just like humans that flock to the grocery store like it's Armageddon before a public holiday, so too the birds stock up on food, then they take shelter in their nests or tree hollows before the storms hit. I could hear that unmistakable call of the fairy wrens from right here in my studio, so I was out there within seconds with the cameras. But I still wasn't fast enough to capture the one blue male superb fairy wren I saw, but there were about four brown females hanging out on both the frangipani tree and some were singing on the fence. And if you're wondering what their high-pitched call sounds like, it goes a little something like this. There was plenty of other bird action too before the storms hit. This minor bird was stocking up in the Grevillea Isle, so too were these little brown honey eaters. I mentioned in my other bird garden video how I planted society garlic plants to help deter stray cats. But the added benefit of these purple flowers from these plants creates an amazing lure for butterflies, like this guy that skipped from plant to plant. Never regretted putting in that bird garden. It's been so rewarding in many ways, not just for bird photography. They're pretty quick, those little fairy wrens, and when you do end up capturing some, it's quite rewarding. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Never stop creating, and by that I mean never stop creating with your camera, whether you're a fine art artist, a musician, a writer, just keep that creative mind going. I'll see you next time.